too funny. Hello. Tis I. It's 7.30 right now. I need to get going. Oh. What? So today, I'm bringing you two guys to work with me again. All right, I'm trying to like use words after just waking up. Give me a minute. I'll come back to another day of my life. It's not really significant. I'm just going to work. I might read. I have a Kindle now. I think I might be reading either The Secret History by Donna Hart or The Dark Prince by Ravenstorm. I'm gonna get ready and then I have to go to work. I just wanna sleep. <laughs> just gonna be simple today. Don't look at my closet, it's a mess. Normally, normally, I wish it was sweater weather. I have so many nice sweaters. Okay, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna go wear jeans. and then pray before I get ready. So my best friend gave me the most comfortable socks ever. So when I wear my shoes, we should do what's in my bag video, but I'm afraid to show you guys. I feel like you'll judge me. going so for once the weather is so nice it's not like humid anymore <laughs> I think someone got shot on Benning Road I'm in the ghetto <laughs> today. I'm too pretty to work. This ain't it, bro. What do you mean? I'm too fragile. One of two things could happen. Either I cry today or commit a felony. I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> I'm also very hungry. I need food in my system. If I don't have food, I'm gonna punch a lady in the tits. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so 
I'm scheduled to work off the floor today, which means I'm just creating content. I have no idea what that is, what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to figure that out today. I have to check my emails. I have to see what's going on. Actually, I have to open this drawer first. I wanted to see if your package arrived. I need my dental plan to kick in. Okay, I gotta... I'm just Ken. Where she loves, she sees a friend. I've been playing that song for the past two hours. Welcome to another day of my life. After my coworker gets here, I'm gonna grab breakfast because I forgot to eat this morning. Um, because I woke up late. Ew, David. job so usually in the mornings we have to pull orders and once we pull orders we have to invoice them package them and send them out Did you hang out with friends or family? Yeah, I got to see friends that I hadn't seen in a long time. I think oh, that's good. good. How about you? Um, not gonna lie, this summer has been really kicking my butt, but I am going to England in September. That's amazing. Yeah, so I, whenever I have a bad day, I look forward to that. I was like, you know what? Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I am getting a snack because I'm hungry. And if I don't eat, I might punch someone. I won't, because it's violence. And just because everyone else does it in America doesn't mean I need to. I think this might make me shit. Actually, my I have to run errands back and forth between stores because that's what we do. I'm being hate crimed. Do it. I'm being hate crimed, hazed, all the above. It's the <laughs> lack of remorse for me. <laughs> It's the lack this of accountability. This is so ugly. <laughs> Do you have any cardboard? Okay. Nope. Sorry, just ignore me. At this point, I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so I just yawned. I did not cry. I know sometimes I look like, you know when you yawn and people are like, Oh my god, did you cry? It's like, no, I didn't cry. I cry inside. That's not true. I cry a lot on the outside. Crying is just weakness leaving the body. Anyways, I was running around doing a lot of stuff, so I didn't really get to film. On the way back, I'm going to be reading. So I got a Kindle, my 
my good friend gave me a Kindle as a gift. Okay, we're not gonna look at those. He probably saw it. Don't fucking judge me. We've all been there. We all read that shit. But I am reading The Dark Prince. Essentially, The Dark Prince is about this guy who's cursed and he like wears a mask. It was giving a fan of the opera vibes. And essentially, he needs to get married. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. He has to get married. And so he goes and he finds this woman who's in a really abusive situation in a home and they get married and essentially he has his curse and she's got to like break the curse it's giving a lot of beauty and the beast vibes first being i'm gonna get a shower and then i have to pray and then i'm gonna eat then i think kind of like a little night routine i'm gonna pop on a movie and then while i pop on the movie i want to organize my closet i'm waiting for a co-worker to send me a link or to let me know when certain things are up so i can create an email for our company's website so that's also a thing i have to do tonight i can explain it um when I do it, I might be up late waiting. Honestly, today wasn't bad. It was actually a very good day, so I'm gonna take that as a win. So recently, my brain hasn't been really girly popping. She's not working, so she can't really comprehend a lot of big words. And at first I was reading was it The Secret History by Donna Harp, because I was like, oh, it's very dark academia, and I'm feeling dark academia because I'm feeling really inspired by, because I'm researching a bunch of universities and schools in like England and Scotland, right? Because that's, <laughs> I'm shooting for the stars, bitch. That's where I'm going. So I was like, maybe I should read it. And I pulled it up on the train and I was just like, yeah, no, my brain ain't working. I was like, so I stuck with a book called The Dark Prince by Raven, what's her face, um, Storm. And when I tell you, I might've giggled. I might've trolled my hijab. I might've went, <laughs> It. Did I let out a few gas? Yes. Did I curl my toes? Yes. This book is exactly what my brain needed. So let me explain. I know I did a really shitty job explaining at my workplace. The Dark Prince is essentially about this man who is kind of cursed. It's giving a lot of Beauty and the Beast retelling. And you know me, I'm a sucker for fairy tale retellings. It's about this masked man who is like cursed. Essentially, he's like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing. He is the princes or the king's like right hand man he's the guy that goes out and kills everybody he's the guy that wins battles for his king and his king is like my guy you're single as fuck you need to go like get yourself a woman but he's like i don't want to get married because i don't want a wife because if i get a wife i'm gonna have a baby because you know smexy times right he's a man and the way this author described him i would want a lot of smexy times with him but he's like if i have a child my curse is gonna pass down on this child and I don't want that. I don't wanna put my wife in this misery. So he goes and he finds the worst woman. He's like, what woman can I marry that I'm just gonna hate and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. He comes across this one family. This family has a Cinderella situation going on. Father is a dick and he's very abusive and he has two girls. He has a bastard daughter and he has like a real daughter, like 
They're both your daughters. Shut the fuck up. The bastard daughter is like this plain Jane kind of girl. She kind of cool. I kind of like her. Kind of vibe with her just a little bit. But she's not treated well by her stepsister or her father. She's very abused. She's seen as a servant. The stepsister, she heard about this prince and she's like, he's hideous. He's ugly. I don't want him married. So they swap, okay? They said, we're going to do some parent trap, but not really. Our main protagonist, our female lead, she's pretending to be the one that he's supposed to get married to and so he shows up and he realizes what's happening and he takes pity on her and she, he's like damn girl do you just want to marry me and get out of here and she's like oh fuck yeah so they piss off in the town she gets married to him and you know what the relationship is very wholesome i'm not too far in i'm like i'm 47 percent of the way through yes have did i blow through this book Ew, what? That's not what I meant. So Isadora and Tyr are having like, they're getting to know each other through their marriage. He's like treating her like a queen. Did he take arrows in the back for her? Yes, he did. Did he say he would do it again just for her to like touch him? Yes, he did. He is struggling to, like he's going back and forth with his feelings of like telling her the truth about like his curse and then like trying to build a wall because he's like, I really like her, but I don't want like the minute she knows about my curse she's gonna hate me forever and he's like slowly falling in love with her and she's falling in love with him tension is rising the kingdom is falling apart i'm eating this up so so far that's what's happening i am not gonna read any more tonight because i need to set a limit because this is what i do i read something i enjoy it too much and then i'm done with it and then i get depressed yes so i'm eating kimchi fried rice So it's 10.35. I got pretty much what I needed to get done. I had to, like an extra work thing I needed to do, so I might leave work a little bit early tomorrow. I picked out an outfit for what I wanted to wear tomorrow. I prayed, I cleaned, I did some journaling. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. It was a very calm day. Alhamdulillah, like the weather was beautiful. Thank you guys so much for just tagging along and just chilling with me i love you guys be kind to yourselves stay hydrated and i'll see you later bye